Hello everyone and welcome to my beauty room. My name is Jasmine and I am what I like to call rich on a budget. And that means to me, I'm always looking for sales. Even though I do like expensive things, it's rare that I buy them at full price. I also do my own eyebrows and give myself my own lash perms. And now, since I live in California, where everything is closed yet again, I am teaching myself how to do my own fills. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I bought. I will also link everything down below if you want to teach yourself how to do your own fills or nails. If not, that's totally fine. I get it. And I will also show you how I did my fills. I'm a firm believer that if you want to learn anything, you can go to YouTube and there's so many people teaching so many things. So I did watch a few YouTube videos and how to do this. The first time I actually both gave myself a fill and extended my nails so that way they're a little bit longer and that was a struggle. So hopefully this time is a little bit easier and I hope you enjoy. So I will be right back to show you what products I purchased and then I will show you the fill process. Okay, so starting off, I bought too much nail polish. I definitely overbought. I didn't need to buy as much as I did, but I wanted options. So this came with all of these different colors. It also came with a couple top coats and a base coat. And then this set of nail files and buffers. And then the liquid and the powder. And this is a dehydrator, which I forgot to do in the fill today, I just realized. And this is for extending. I put that underneath my nail to make the acrylic longer. And then this is the drill I bought. I'm really happy with this drill. I was a little bit iffy about the reviews I saw, but so far it's worked out really well for me. These are the drill bits it came with. I also bought a coarse built drill bit because uh, from what I've read, that helps get the gel polish off. So I just purchased that to make my life a little bit easier. And then this is kind of a nail art kit. It came with a bunch of stuff. It came with the uh, light. And then buffers and different tools for shaping your nails. Uh, nail glue, some decorations, and some alcohol pads. more stones and stickers, those little toe separators. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Cotton pads and then a cuticle cutter. And then different tools for decorating. And then nail tips so I could do my full set, which I probably will do next time. And then some brushes for the acrylic powder, along with some decorating brushes. And like a little user manual and some glitter. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use these. It's a loose glitter and it just seems like something that would make a mess. And then it came with a different variation of the top coat and then some colors. It just came with more neutral colors which is why I bought the other one because I wanted more bright colors. And then it came with another powder. I also just received this, they're stones that I will be using today. I didn't buy them initially, but I decided I wanted them, so I bought that and that just arrived right before I was going to do my fill, so it was good timing. So starting the fill, I did use the coarse drill bit, and I put one of these little filers on it just to take off this nail polish because it's gel and it has different settings this drill bit it has a little circle that you could adjust the speeds and then the on and off switch you could uh, flip the rotation uh, which way you want to want it to rotate 
To save time, I am just going to show you my left hand. And right now, I'm just taking off the gel polish. Just be careful when you get close to your fingers, especially. You don't want to cut yourself. But the rest of this will just be me removing the gel. And I also kind of shaped the nails. I went a little bit thick since it was my first time ever dealing with acrylic last time. It was just a little bit thick. So I took time to thin it out as well after I finished taking off the gel polish. I'm taking off the coarse drill bit and going in with the smoother bigger one uh, also adding one of these little filer things I'm not exactly sure what they're called and I'm gonna go in with a lower speed just because for this part I'm gonna be buffing my natural nail where I need to put the acrylic and I'm just doing that until the shine is gone I don't want to ruin my natural nail, so just lightly buffing it. I'm then taking the brush and just fluffing it out. And then dipping into the liquid and the powder, you want to make sure it's saturated, but not too saturated. I'm still learning what that point is and how much liquid to powder I need to do and kind of what that looks like. So that I'm still learning on, but it didn't come out too bad this time. The first couple were probably the hardest while I was just trying to get the hang of it. But I'm just... Take putting most of the acrylic on the bottom of the nail and then taking it up a little bit but you don't want to cover the whole nail in acrylic you're really focusing on the part where it doesn't have acrylic so the bottom part of your nails <laughs> Next, I'm going to take this thinner drill bit and this I'm just going to use to shape my nails and to thin them out 
make sure the acrylic is smooth. I'm also going to take it underneath my nail just to buff out anything that may be stuck underneath there. Next time I will be doing a new set, but just for this time I'm going to just buff out underneath and make sure everything is clean and smooth. Next I'm taking a buffer and again then smoothing things out. If you have a bunch of scratches or texture on your nails it's going to show up with the gel so this way you just want to smooth it out and make sure there is no imperfections in the gel. I'm also taking the nail file and just shaping them. I am doing a coffin shape and so it will be Kind of like a square but just a little bit more narrow towards the top and just making sure the lines are sharp and everything is even. I forgot what I was doing so I already did the first coat of the gel so you're joining me in progress with the second coat I'm going with this darker purple it's a really pretty shade and then this more periwinkle shade on the ring finger and this time I put in the UV lights and cured it for about one minute and then I went in with the top coat. I'm doing my ring finger last because I am going to put stones on that finger. So I'm picking up this bigger stone and putting it there and then curing it and then adding more gel to put the smaller stones. You're going to want to put the biggest stone in the center and then gradiate it out to the smaller stones towards the end. And I'm just using the wax pencil to pick up the stones and place them. I cured it for, for another minute, maybe a minute and a half, and then I went in with more gel on the top so that way it's secure on the nail and cured it for two minutes. I'm really happy with how these turned out. They're so pretty and very much my style. 
Okay, now it is officially the next day. I went to go have dinner and then my sister and my niece showed up. So then we just sat and talked for a while and the, the next thing I knew it was midnight. But I'm really happy with how these came out. I think they are so pretty. I love the stones. Uh, as of today, none of the stones have fallen off yet. So hopefully that stays that way. There, this is definitely just my aesthetic. The purple and the sparkle is just me in a nutshell. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit subscribe and the like button. I would really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.